Hello everybody, my name is Nightmare, welcome back to Night in the Woods. In this part, we're gonna go on another hangout with B. I believe, oops, wrong button. I believe this is the, uh, mission where we go to go hunt the, like, ghost hunting. Whoa. Whoa. Dude, are you okay? Yeah, I guess. Sure. Tired. Had a headache for days. You should, like, go home and rest. I feel like you'd been... Yeah, yeah, I feel like you'd be able to, like, veg out pretty well. Nah, I'm fine. Doing stuff helps. How are you feeling about this whole ghost thing? Pretty bad. I mean, since it happened, I don't feel rested in the morning. I feel like some someone else is in my head. My skull is going to explode! So, yeah, not too good then. Nope. Hmm. Did you still want to check out the graveyard? Yeah, let's go do it. Foggy. Always got that evening fall fog. Collects between the ridges. It's spooky. I don't know. Good spooky. I get really sad because it's not here year-round. Hey, B? Yep. Sorry again about last night. That's cool. Who needs a social life? This is social. It sure is. Well, there's the statue. Oh, also spooky. I thought you were, like, actually kind of afraid. I mean, I am, but, like, whatever. So, we wait here? Yeah. And a ghost shows up? Hmm. This isn't dumb. Don't act like this is dumb. Hey, I'm along for the ride. Know any ghost stories? Not off the top of my head. Okay, what's scary? Um, things that are monumentally screwed right now? And no one in power gives a crap? Or they're act actively making it worse? Out of spite of profit? Whoa, jeez. I meant like, a skeleton or something. Oh, right. Sorry. Okay, okay, okay. We'll have a spook off. I see something and you make it spookier. Alright. How about this? A skeleton in your hallway at night. A regular stranger... Er, yeah, a regular stranger dude in your hallway at night. And he's whispering things. And he's a health insurance industry exec. Okay. He wants to profit off your sickness and fear. What's he whispering? Complicated fine print. B, this isn't fun. And he's a ghost. <laughs> Thank you. The whispering ghost of a... Um, healthcare executive. All the things you're afraid of are boring. The scariest stuff and is like really, really boring. Oh my God, Beatrice. We have what we're supposed to be doing. I think I was supposed to say, what are we supposed to be doing? Watching a statue or something. This is dumb, let's go. Okay, so. I'm gonna go visit my mom. She's right down there. Oh, okay. Give me a minute or two, okay? Totally, uh, no problem. Sorry. Sorry about what? Not your mom at all. It's okay. It happens. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I'll go check out some graves. Alrighty. I took a class on death and dying, but I couldn't get into the dinosaur class back at school. It's like something I actually know about. Cool. I'll meet you back up here then. Let's check out 
Grave, yeah, let's check out a Graver 3. Can I follow her down here? Why is B's mom all by herself? Hey, hey, is this? Yep. Oh, yep. Okay then. Hmm, standard headstone, nothing fancy. Clearly religious. 95 years, wow. When she was born, most high tech, yeah, the most high tech thing was horses. She had to like look out the window to see a horse. Now we have like pictures of horses on the internet. And any horse you can think of. She saw us from horses to internet horses. Decent run. Catherine Fishburn, taken by flu, 14 years old. Aw, oh, dang. Lived like 14 years. That's not enough time. Probably never said anything anyone could understand. You should like get off at least one good sentence in life. Ooh, fancy. This guy was a fancy guy. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna guess. He loved his bike. He loved it so hard, he smooched it. So right. Jeez, B. How long does this take? Yeah, how long does a mom visit take? <sighs> That's mean. Tick tock, Beatrice, we got places to be. Holy crap, I am a jerk. This is true. Hey. How'd, uh, how'd it go? Fine. She's still there. Were you worried that you know how how we've been having sinkhole problems in town? Yeah. That's what's wrong with your street. Anyway, my mom's buried in a pretty low spot. Couldn't afford the hill, so I was worried. Like you're worried the ground's just kind of like cave in. What part of sinkhole is difficult to understand? We're in a graveyard. They shouldn't make those where sinkholes are a problem. Yeah, and they shouldn't build towns that flood. And yet here we are. Okay, you ready? You know, when I was down there, I think I heard music from the top of the hill and like voices. Oh, that's uh, spooky. Yeah, not sure what's going on up there. Let's go find out. You coming? Yeah, sure. Travelers! You seek answers among the dead. But they shall give you none. Ha <laughs> ha ha, okay, wow. Hey guys, do you know these kids? Yeah, we've met. What are y'all doing? Okay, so... We are the keepers of the gate. There is a literal gate you're sitting in front of. Who shall pass? And who shall remain? Alright, well... Answer us these questions. Truthfully. What? And you may pass into the realms of the dead. Okay, okay, okay. Well, fine, whatever. Get on with it. First question! Have you ever... done it? You know, yeah, you guys can just call it sex. We're all grown-ups here. Well, we are, at least. Answer! Uh, let's see. Probably not, no. Never got around to it. And you? Yeah. What? When? Summer camp before 11th grade. Really? How did I not know this? This was when you weren't talking to me? Who? Who did this? Yeah, who did this? Wait. Oh, who did this happen with? Ah, uh, you don't know him. It was at math camp. Math 
camp. What is math camp? You go and do like math stuff. Camp stuff. And apparently have lots of sex? It wasn't good. Top notch math though. This is boring. Next question. Jeez, fine. Describe your dream date. These are the stupidest questions. Yeah, don't you want to ask us something at least spooky? Dream date. Okay, fine. Uh, he'd be tall, dressed cool, really smart, likes good music, and we go to the movies. Boring. You. Wrestling. You're, like, you're gonna wrestle, or you're gonna, like, watch wrestling? Uh, yeah, I could wrestle. I don't care if it's a guy or a girl. But they'd have to be like, girl, Because I don't even want to date someone. Who's not? Grrr! So you were gonna wrestle this person. Yeah, they'd be super cool and tough. And we'd all be tired and dirty and bleeding. And then we'd like lie on the floor. And tell each other secrets. That's actually really sweet. I guess. What do you want from me? Next question. What is your most embarrassing experience? What? Just go with it. That's it! One time I farted in front of the class. Ha <laughs> ha! That's it. What were you expecting? Okay, that sucks. Now you go. Ah, uh, okay, god. One time, in college, there was this cute girl I saw at the cafeteria, like, a few times a week. I guess our schedules lined up or something, which was weird about college. It's like a little town. Cut to the chase. Jeez. Okay, so I got up the nerve to go and talk to her, and I followed her out into the hallway, and I don't know why, but I just shouted, HEY! And she turned around, and, and, and all I could do was wave? <laughs> Oof. This is funny. A and, and, and. Then, oh, and then I turned around and tried to walk away all cool, but I ran into this door frame right behind me, and it hurt. And I staggered back, and, 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 I fell into the trash can outside the cafeteria. And my face, whew, right into a trash spaghetti. Holy crap, dude. Continue. And I, like, flailed until the trash tipped over. And I got up, and the girl had... Oh, uh, she had, uh, she'd watched all of it. And I tried to give her this smile like I'd somehow meant to do that. But it turns out I had swallowed some of the trash. Oh, no. Spaghetti. And... Uh, I puked all over myself. No wonder you came home. Oh, shut up. Well, well, that's, uh... That's messed up. I'm going to throw up next for nothing. You have come face to face with your lowest moment. You may now pass unburdened. Unburdened? Yeah, for real. Okay, let us pass already. The power to pass was in your hands all along. What? What the f in hell? Here we go. Ah! Go to hell, teens. Ha ha ha! I hate everything right now. Forget it. Let's go. See you later, kids. So, like... Ghosts. Ghosts? Like, I don't know if I believe in them, but... Yeah. 
So, you know how you said you've been seeing ghosts at night? I mean, I don't super believe it's not just dreams. Because obviously, it's dreams. Okay, that's certainly your take on it. But like... Do you ever see my mom? Mm, no. I mean, I can't really tell. And I don't think the ghosts were like... People? Like, they're not sitting around being ghosts. It's more like... Echoes? Echoes of crap that happened and people that were here? Hmm. Oh. Trust me. None of the places looked, like, super familiar. Or super much fun. Your mom was rad. Too rad to hang out there. <laughs> That's like... I appreciate you trying to turn this around. I'm doing my best, Beatrice. Alright, anyway. Well, the bad news is that we're locked out. By that big gate. Ugh, why you gotta make a giant g gate in the graveyard? Uh, to keep people like you out? And to stop what you're probably going to do? Uh, yeah. We'll never know for sure. Alright, well, I'm not climbing it. Go, uh, do your thing. My thing? You're kind of good at this thing. Brute force and stuff? Jeez, gotta do everything around here. It's your ghost, I'm just the driver. Fine, hang out, I'll be right back. Let me just take a quick peek at what's going on with this gate. Yeah, it's a big gate. Okay. Well, uh, this is probably a good place to end this. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, leave a like and let me know. And if not, that's alright. I'll see you guys in the next part. Bye!